So uh, Maria Sakari just now she played in the second round at uh, the Stuttgart Open. Maria Sakari uh, was uh, Maria Sakari played a very bad match today in the first set. She lost the first set in uh, in a uh, with a 6-4 by Sigimund. Sigimund is number 231. She's way off her game, she hadn't played uh, much matches in the last two years while Sakari is uh, one of the top players in the tournament and uh, what do we see now? Maria Sakari retired in the uh, in the second set when uh, Sigimund made uh, a break and uh, was leading 3-1 in the second Maria Sakari um, asked for the medical attention in uh, in the break between uh, sets and uh, she uh, uh, seems to have suffered a arrhythmia uh, a cardiac uh, arrhythmia uh, elevated uh, elevated uh, heartbeat um, so she was definitely uh, distressed she uh, left the court in tears she uh, didn't have any type of physical uh, injury it was something internal because she didn't feel well, um, she had some sort of a pulse really thing because she had her um, O2 saturation checked and she had her uh, uh, pulse, uh, has, she had a pulse check by the medical doctor. Sviatek in the final of Indian Wells, then in the second round at Miami, she lost to Haddad Maya 6-1-6-2. She was defeated by Haddad Maya 6-1-6-2 in, uh, in the second and third sets. So it was quite a shock for Maria Sakari to lose in that way to Haddad Maya. Then from that match, Sakari didn't play any matches until this match in Stuttgart. And today she came in and she was literally devastated. Not at her best at all. So I ask you, isn't it possible that it maybe is some sort of relation with the injecciones that uh, many of the players had to undergo, had to take forcibly without necessarily needing it. Uh, could it not be the injections that many of the players and many had to take because they were forced to in order to participate in some events or in top of it, uh, one of the fittest athletes, the top fittest athletes in the world and among the top 100 WT players she's uh, the most uh, strict with her uh, physical preparation how can an athlete like this suffer from arrhythmia after one month of break she had one month of break she didn't play any tournaments and now she comes into the tournament and she has an arrhythmia it's just uh, something is off guys and if this is not something to be alarmed of and we agree to what the government tells us only because they are the government then we are screwed man how can we not think that this is the cause from so many athletes suffering these uh, serious problems. Uh, this was uh, my info with about uh, Maria Sakari's um, retire from uh, uh, Stuttgart. Thanks for, thanks for the attention.